What's up athletes? The video this week is for the defensive football players out there. Defensive backs and linebackers, pretty much whoever has to cover someone man to man or in zone. You, are you ever right with the guy and you're running with him downfield or you break on the route, you're right there but he still manages to catch the ball? Well in this video I'm going to make sure that that doesn't happen to you again. I'm going to show you how to break up more passes. And with some things you learned in the video, for one, you will never get mossed again. Two, there will be less passes caught on you. And three, you will just be a better all-around football player and give your defense and team, put them in a better position to win. So the first rule is to never give up on the play. Whether it's in practice, a game, or in one-on-ones, you want to make it a habit. Never stop running, go through the whistle, and just because somebody caught the ball or if they beat you on a route a little bit, never stop running, close the distance, get to them, and until the ball is in his hands, passes the goal line, and you see the ref do this, the play is still on. There's still time to get the ball out, make the tackle, do whatever you gotta do, but never give up on the play. That's rule number one. And that's also something coaches will take note on if you're fighting for a spot on the dress roster or you're getting scouted. If they see you every rep, constantly running your ass off to the ball like your life depends on it that's something they're going to take note of plus it'll get you better condition for the game when in the fourth quarter everyone else is tired you're going to be ready for whatever happens next so the next tip is to close space you want to be as close to the receiver as possible before you either look back or play the hands to knock the ball out sometimes guys will be chasing the guy down the field and look back way too early and really just in no position to play the ball or other times they'll just be you know a few yards away breaking on the receiver and stop running just let him catch and make the tackle instead of busting your ass to sprint get it in there and get the ball out so the next tip is to actually break up the ball what you want to do is use your off hand and what that means is whatever hand is closest to the receiver that side of your body is with him you use the other hand to come in there and knock the ball out and for one reason it's just a lot easier to get that arm up then you know this one's in the way of the receiver it's kind of tight you might have to fight through and two to secure the tackle because if you happen to miss the ball if it goes through tips then this arm could still grab the receiver and secure the tackle if you miss here and then he's behind you he could catch the ball and keep running another way and that's it touchdown so if you're running down the sideline and the receiver is on this side of me sidelines there look back up for the ball it means you use your off hand further from the receiver to go play the hands the side closest to him secures the tackle because if you miss with this one you have nothing to grab onto no chance of making the tackle so the next tip is to punch through the wrist as soon as you see the hand shell aim small aim for the wrist because if you miss small you're only going to miss a little bit now if you just don't have a target just throwing your hands there you might miss everything completely and he'll catch the ball so as soon as a basket goes there which means when he goes for the catch, punch through and disrupt the basket. If your hand's right there in between his hands, moving around a little bit, then the chance of him go catching the ball goes down a lot. Now this tip's a bit more advanced, kind of a bonus tip. If you can only get one hand of his, you wanna to try to aim for generally the further hand. So think if the receiver's running down the field, he's catching the ball like this. If you can knock this hand away, it's a lot harder to make the catch just with the front hand, it's kind of an awkward catch compared to letting the ball come in and just naturally keep running with it. So bonus tip, if you can only get one hand, get the far hand, especially if he's coming on a dig and catching the ball like this. It's easy to catch one hand like this, but an overhand grab while running is, you know, have you ever seen it in a game? It's pretty hard to do. Now something that you cannot do is have a long swipe to launch the ball out or wind up on the punch. This will just take too long and you'll never get there, especially because receivers are taught to catch the ball and pull it away from you. With timing, you just won't get there, especially against the best receivers. And that's who you wanna play against. Now, a couple more tips. When you can't break up the ball, you wanna make sure he feels it. Football is a long game. You know, four quarters, 60 minutes can go by fast, but if you're physical, make it a long day for the receiver. Make him not wanna catch the ball on you next time because he knows what he's in for. So hit him, make it hurt, you know, it's war out there, so make it hurt. So the last tip is to be super aggressive and get the ball out. Sometimes you might miss at first, you might get a lucky catch, but if you're really fighting, pulling hands, knocking the ball loose, 
you know, it will come out most of the time. If you're in position, you follow the rules from today's video, you'll get the ball out most of the time. If not, make sure that you still can secure the tackle and don't let him get a bunch of extra yards when you're trying to get the ball out. Do the best you can, play with your technique. Most of the time, even if you get the ball a bit loose, they'll end up falling anyways. So that's it for today's video. Remember, never give up. Close the space to the receiver. Use your off hand. Punch through. Aim at the wrists. Don't swipe or wind up too much because they're taught to pull the ball away. But then also hit them hard, make them feel it, be aggressive, and get that ball out. Make sure to subscribe for more. And if you like the look of some of this merch, head over to the website, picktixathletics.com, linked in the description. And you can check out our store and also the programs that we have available.